Today I'm going to talk about the roadmap if I'm going to learn any of the JavaScript frameworks and here is the current popular framework in my opinion. And so if you're going to learn React, you're probably going to learn Next.js and if you're going to learn Vue, you're probably going to learn Nooks and if you're going to learn Swell, you're going to learn SwellKit as well. I think for React probably there's some debate probably you may to go into learn Remix or Gatsby but I think my roadmap is I think it's going to cover everything that any of this framework has to offer. So let's see how I'm going to learn any of this technology. So to start off, I'm going to build a to-do app. So to-do app is really simple and classic uh, application. I think any tutorial uh, start uh, have a like, to-do application of any framework. Well, by finishing to-do app, you will learn a lot of things. So for example, you will learn how to create like a, what is state inside those framework. You will learn how to render the data. You will learn how to do condition. You probably learn to do styling as well. So for example, when the to-do is complete, you change the style of like, you know, the to-do to complete. So this is what you will learn from by building a really simple to-do application. And after we building like to do application so i'm going to try to learn how to break down the components uh, the application into components so for example to do probably have two separate components that we can break down for example input and render the data and two separate components and then we have like the parent props so you will learn about props and component by trying to break the application into like a separate component so after we learn about this, we can take a look on about states management. I'm not really sure like um, any of the framework, probably like the some framework probably have some built-in states management. So for example, Swell, they have their own um, Swell, like state management, I would think. But for React, uh, and I think there's a lot of states management that build around uh, the React, but we can, you know, choose the one and play around with all of type states management to but probably not all of it, but you know, just first try the very core states management library. And after that, try a few that is popular and we can play around with it. That is step three. And step four is we, we are going to do something related to API. I think because any of the framework is going to connect with the API, right? And because all of this thing is front end, so we need to connect to the back end. So it's going to connect with API. So we need to learn how to you know, uh, connect to the API, get the fetch, post, and whatever API uh, method is. And after we doing that, um, I think the final piece is just going to build the project. I think the example here, I just put two more project. So this is like the two more project that I'm going to build, which is the first one is GitHub username finder. It's really simple, but this project is going to use the knowledge of how to fetch the data from the API and how to do search as well uh, and the second one is the drinking game uh, so this application is the the one that i build uh, so here's the example so if you build this one i think you will learn a lot on how you know to manipulate the state to render the state in here so you will uh, get a better idea on how like the frameworks work the state the life cycle of it as well so for example is something this so this is like a fun application to build and so after you do like five step of this one, you probably have like a solid basic understanding on how the each framework is going to work. And after that, you can proceed to learn the uh, like, you know, the more feature of the framework. So all of the step five step right here is get you, um, like, you know, get started with any of the frameworks such as React or Vue or Swell. So if we're going to learn like, for example, Next.js, Nooks or Swell Kits. So here's the step six that you can do. So the step six is more like a server side rendering because all of the like Next.js, Nooks, Swell Kit offer this feature for us. And so I think the very basic project that you can do is to build a blog post. Um, so here's why I think blog post is, is better, as is great. Uh, so first you will learn about routing. Uh, and second, you will learn about an SEO and metadata of the blog post. We need to like have the header and metadata of each blocks. And um, you will learn how to do authentication and page protections. I'm not, uh, yeah, I think this one is like things, all of those framework offers like a server side renderings and things like that. So we can connect to the database and do, you know, fetch the data, do authentications and we can um, you know do page protections for example admin page where they create a blocks 
And I think the most important is like how to render the data, which is, so for example, um, we have like a static side generations, um, server side rendering, and we have like the ISR, it's like increment static regeneration. Not re uh, this one, this, ha this feature has in Next.js, I'm not really sure about the other, but you know, we will learn all of like the pattern on how to render those data. So here's what we're gonna use. So for example, in the home page, we render everything from the server because we wanted to everything keep up to date. And then each blog post, we can go into render it from the, like as a static. So it's like the choice is like, is your, it's just like, um, so like the home page right here, you can render as static as fine as well, but we just wanted to learn on how to render like doing this like server side rendering and things like that. So I think a blog post is really a great project to learn all of this feature. And I think you can connect this one to any backend. So probably I think the best choice is to connect to, for example, uh, Superbase or uh, Firebase, because this is going to save you time from building your own uh, backend in order to complete this project. You can just uh, play around with this one and then you can uh, you know, build this project and learn about the framework. So that's my roadmap if I'm going to learn the any JavaScript frameworks. So this is what I'm going to do. And I know this is not like a perfect, but it's just like, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment what you think about this approach. And yeah, I would like to hear you about your opinion as well. So leave it, the, leave it in the comments below so I can come back and update and improve these roadmaps. So yeah, uh, if you don't like it, just, you know, give me, uh, give me a reason why and how I can improve. And thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.